Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to scrape paint from a window. Um, when removing paint from glass, a lot of times as window cleaners, we see paint during construction cleans or when a customer that we've done for a long time has had their house repainted or their business repainted. So it's good to know some basic fundamentals when talking about scraping a window. One thing you should consider when scraping glass is to have a scratch waiver signed. Um, that is something you can find on windowcleaner.com in the free forms and documents. I will put a link to that. And the reason being is because of fabrication debris. I'm also gonna put a link to that on a very good um, page that basically goes over what fabrication debris is. As window cleaners, we do not scratch glass. Um, those scratches come from fabrication debris during the actual process of making the window. So it's really important to know that as a window cleaner because you'll have people that say, oh, you scratched my glass, and that's just not true. But I'll put links to that so you can look at all that stuff. Let's go over the basics of removing paint from window. So here I have a window that basically I have for like a couple of weeks put really, really dirty water on there. And then a few days ago put a bunch of um, just light, misting uh, a spray can paint and then i have actual like paint you would use for your walls as well just in kind of weird patterns that sometimes we see right we don't see usually windows completely painted or really thick amounts of paint but usually something like this like overspray little things here and there that people mess up on so what do you do to clean that off this is a very very big question out there Things you're gonna need. You're gonna wanna get yourself a scraper. What is this? All right, I've used this scraper for a long, long time. This is a six inch Unger Architect Ninja scraper. And this that it's in is a holster. The reason I have it in a holster is very important. You always wanna keep your scraper in a holster or have the cap on the top so that you don't cut your hand or anything like that. So I always have this in the back of my belt. I simply unclip it like that and there is my scraper right so this is a six inch scraper and then i have a stainless steel blade on there as well you can also get replacement blades they come in a little box like this very very sharp they get a little sticky hard to get apart it's very important that when you do see it like if your scraper has a little notch in it or is broke or something like that to replace your razor. And it's also good to note too, that when you need to replace your razor, there are two sides, just like a squeegee rubber, but your other side is gonna be this side. And as you can see, I broke that side at a job, so that's why I switched it around. So always use both sides before throwing it away. I do suggest going with stainless steel and not going with carbon blades. Carbon blades can be sharper, but of course they're going to rust. So you have to dry them off every single day. So from this point on, what you have to do first is I would suggest if your window is really dirty, like this window is, and you might be able to see from the GoPro camera really how dirty it is, go ahead and clean the window like normal. So as our mop here, we're gonna go over the window and just get it really clean. Quite a texture there of just the dirt. This is simply just to get the dirt off. You could even just, it doesn't need to be perfect. You could straighten it if you want it. You see, I got a lot, a lot of paint on there. Clean up some of our residual. This step is really not needed, especially if you're outside. It might be good just to get some of that off. So next, what you're gonna wanna do, I always like doing when you're scraping paint off the windows is wet the window. Wet the window pretty consistently so that you're not bleeding over dry glass. Okay, then and take your scraper. We're gonna scrape. Now, here's a little thing about razoring. If you just razor with like an angle, I'm gonna say kind of like this, you're gonna find the, the razor's gonna miss a lot. If you almost do an angle like this and up, you'll find it scrapes a lot more of the paint off. So kind of play around with your angles, but if you're really close to the window, like this, you know, only like less than an inch away. It's not gonna scrape much, but if you kind of create a better angle and scrape, it's gonna scrape more. Now, one thing about scraping, it's good to not swirl the scraper on the glass like this. We're never swirling, right? We're just going in a movement like that, right? Try to keep it to, I would say, either up, down, or sideways, just to keep your path good. If you start doing curves, 
you can do some weird things. You don't want to dig the scraper into the glass on necessarily. So we've wetted our window. We're going to just get the scrape. And what you're going to find a lot is you're going to have to go over the window a couple times, especially with any scraper. They just miss a little bit. Um, the one scraper that doesn't do that a whole lot is the Sorbo scraper, but the blade, because the blade flexes a lot more. So. So you see, we've gotten quite a bit up there. Now you see around the frame here, a lot of, of green paint. What I always suggest doing, depending on what kind of job you're at, is I would clean that up kind of as you go to keep your um, job area clean. And just to keep from paint not getting everywhere at the job, especially if like you're inside. Typically we see this stuff on the outside a lot more. And also wiping your blade off, right? Be super careful but wipe your blade off so just you get a clean pass. Sometimes a good thing to do is to kind of wash it off in your bucket if you're getting a lot of paint on there, especially from like holiday paint on storefronts, that can be a little different. So we still have paint on here. We're gonna mop it again, we're gonna keep it wet. And then we're gonna scrape again. You see a lot more of that paint coming off. A good angle on our scraper. Now it looks like I'm putting a lot of pressure because the window is not framed into an actual home or business. So you see the window moving, but you don't want to put too much pressure, but you need a little bit of pressure, of course, just like a squeegee blade. Go over it again. And it takes time to get comfortable with the blade. And um, you know, when I first started working with the blade, I wasn't too comfortable with it. But then as time goes on, you'll get really comfortable and be able to move a little bit faster with it and just know what kind of windows to blade and what not to blade. So there, we've actually removed all the paint from the window. So then, by mop. I'm also gonna holster my scraper just to always be safe. Squeegee off. It's not the best squeegee rubber in there. We're gonna detail. I'm gonna have to go over it one more time just because I see some paint like in this area here. So good fluid movements. You'll find a lot you'll catch in the sides, especially on these vinyl windows. When you feel your scraper like kind of dig and stop, just stop with the scraper, right? Holster our scraper, mop the window one more time. Now we've removed all the paint off that window. Also, if you have a little bit of paint left on there or just a tiny bit of paint, you can always use Quad Zero Steel Wool and kind of just take out that paint as well. So boom, we've removed all the paint from this window. We haven't scratched anything at all. It all looks great as far as that goes. So that is just the simple steps of removing paint from a window. Um, once again, we went over scraper safety. That's one of the most important things. Make sure to protect your hands. You don't want to ever grab that blade. Make sure to always have the cap on there. Make sure to wet the window. Make sure to get a good angle on the scraper. Make sure to get a scratch waiver because sometimes scratches can happen. That's not due to us. You'll get that information in the links. But that's as simple as it is. Um, a lot of people ask questions about this and it's a very nervous part about window cleaning. And when you're learning it for the first time, it can be a lot just because you see, you think that you're scared of you know actually scratching a window. You're not going to. But that is how you remove paint from a window. If you have any questions, comment below. If you have any you know other opinions about how to scrape a window, please leave a comment below as well. I hope this has been helpful. Have a good day. Bye-bye.